Democratic Senator Bob Menendez is a member of the Banking and Finance Committees and also the top Democrat on foreign relations and joins me now from the Capitol. Welcome. Thank you so much, Senator. Uh, do you have a roadmap from this testimony yesterday and also the hidden the testimony before House and Senate intel? I think it provided a lot of insights, a lot of legitimate questions, and a foundation uh, for going ahead and seeking the tax returns, not only for potential financial crimes, but for understanding, for example, why President Trump seems to have no backbone to stand up to Vladimir Putin uh, at the end of the day. And I think uh, those are all legitimate critical questions that lead us to say the tax returns need to be reviewed in order to determine whether or not there are entanglements that are problematic. Now, you and your colleagues also sent a letter before the second summit. Uh, do you have more advice to the White House, given the failure of this summit, the colossal failure overnight? Well, Andrea, I saw your initial reaction uh, after the summit collapse, and I think what you said was spot on, that the, in the nuts and bolts of nuclear disarmament, uh, it's a very difficult process. The art of disarmament is far more difficult than the art of the deal. And this is not about, uh, you know, personal diplomacy uh, or made-for-TV moments. Uh, I did not think that the president should have gone to the summit without the preparation. Another observation you made that I think is critically important, we need to know the totality of their inventory before you can jump off to what denuclearization looks like and what you can agree to. We had none of that. Uh, we have some sense that it's greater than what they're saying, but we didn't have the totality of it. So uh, I, I was concerned from the beginning that the hard process of laying the foundation for a potential summit uh, did not take place. That obviously uh, was on show at, at this summit. And I am concerned that a significant amount of the leverage that we created through our maximum pressure campaign has been dissipated because China, Russia have slowly eased off, engaged more economically. Our allies, Japan, South Korea, need to be engaged more vigorously throughout this process. So where we go from here is going to uh, depend upon whether we can reassemble that. And that's, I think, a lot more difficult after we turned uh, Kim Jong-un from international pariah to what seemingly is a legitimate leader. It certainly seems that you and your committee can, could be following up if you get Republican support in the Senate, uh, particularly on the military piece, uh, canceling those exercises with no warning to South Korea. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I think it's a huge mistake. It's, it's, first of all, a concession without getting anything in return. Secondly, you blindsided uh, our own allies. That is not the way to build, to build faith and confidence is that you're going to walk in this together uh, and to keep them where you want them in terms of your negotiations moving forward and your pressure campaign. And thirdly, to dish uh, the efforts of those military exercises as just being costly when they are critically important strategically in the region for preparation is just, you know, another example of the president not talking to those who have the expertise as generals. Bob Menendez, Senator, thank you so much. Great to see you thank today. You.